How's it going guys? Welcome to my channel, Enrique D305. I'm gonna be reviewing the new um film that got released um this Memorial Day weekend, Brightburn. I didn't have a chance to see Aladdin, so I will later this week. So um my review for Aladdin will be coming soon, even though this week we have um uh, Godzilla, which I'm so excited to see. But other than that, let's get into it. Brightburn. Um if you know the story of Superman, it's so similar to this film, but the opposite of Superman. Like, what would happen if Superman came to this earth and instead of being the hero that we know or savior that we all know, what if he decided to act something more dramatic and change his character a lot? Meaning by murdering people and not actually being the savior that we know, but the killer. Um, this movie, I walked in in this um, with no expectations. I didn't have no expectations. I saw the first trailer and it got me intrigued. I liked it. But other than that, I didn't have no high expectations. And I gotta say, I enjoyed the film for what it was. It was really good. I liked how the people around him were kind of concerned about him. I don't want to give any spoilers because it's something I, I prefer you guys go out there and go check out this film because it's really good. It's It was hard for the people around um, the kid to try to help him out. They couldn't understand how. They couldn't find a way how to help him out. Um, they knew he was different. They knew he was special, of course. But there wasn't... The parents had something missing, like they couldn't do much more because they had a kid that wasn't even from Earth. So I like that point of view, which is the same thing in Man of Steel, you know. Pop can't try to teach his kid, Clark, um, the meaning of what is to be human. And in this in this film, you don't get that a lot from the parents. You a little bit do, but not as much, let's say. But other than that, um, I enjoy this movie a lot. Uh, the murderings, all the killings that it's in this film, it's like wow, wow. It's scary. At some point, if we, if we have this this kind of being in our earth, we we'll, we wouldn't even know what to do about it. We had we wouldn't have no idea how to deal with this problem. No, there's no way. He, he basically he's really unstoppable, like Superman. He is just unstoppable, and if there's no kryptonite. Then what can actually stop Superman, let's say. But this kid, there's no need of kryptonite. There's something else. And only... No spoilers. <laughs> but who in the world will know what's its weakness? No one knows. But other than that, it's an enjoyable film. At some points, it was scary. But the visual of this film was great for the low budget film that it was seven million dollars i believe six million around there um it was pretty good i gotta say and it's theatrical run at the end of the day it's gonna make money it's gonna uh, make what they have spent they're gonna make a lot more and brightburn it's a great film i can't wait till it gets released on blu-ray I'm going to get that once it comes out. And I might check it out one more time. I might go. Even though this weekend it's a little packed for me. I got Aladdin. I got a, uh, Godzilla. I got Ma. Uh, I want to check out Brightburn one more time. Just want to check it out because it's really good. I liked it. But other than that, that's my review, guys. My opinion. And this is my what I think. I liked it. I'll give it a 8 out of 10. Um... But like the characters, Elizabeth Banks, she's phenomenal of an actress. Um, the dad, I forgot his name. I had him in my the kid that was in Endgame. If you see Endgame, he's the same kid. If you, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But other than that, um, I enjoy the film. I give it an eight out of ten. And thank you guys. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll have my Aladdin review coming soon. And of course, Godzilla later this week. Thank you guys. Later.